Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Projut episode on this amazing Friday. I know everybody's been kind of cooped up inside their houses and, and kind of hunkered down for the week, but it's actually gone by a lot faster than I thought it would have, um, which is kind of weird to me, but at the same time, it's kind of cool. I mean, a lot of people were having spring break anyway. Oh gosh, why am I cutting down there? No, 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 I want to cut down. No, below. Can I cut down for Okay, fine. I'll just cut it right there. That's fine. Um, by the way, this is blue spruce. Um, if you didn't know. Uh, oh, that's too small. No. It's a beautiful blue wood. Why can't I pick it up? Come on, pick up. It says it's owned by Code Primate. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm, I am the code. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Place that down there. Anyhow, uh, a lot of people have been worried. A lot of people have been scared. And it's okay to be. It is absolutely fine to uh, be worried. And for those of you that um, still have to go to work or have to go to businesses and, and places, just be, be safe, be careful, wash your hands. Um, uh, that's the only advice that we can, we can give, that anybody can give. Uh, is to stay safe. Be mindful of uh, areas, situations, and things that you touch. And it's everything. I mean, even during the course of this video, I've already touched my face like twice that I know of. But I also know that I'm inside my house where there's nothing that's contaminated that I know of. Um, everything's been wiped down. Everything's been sanitized. I've washed my hands like 20 billion times today, even though I probably don't need to because I haven't been out and doing anything going anywhere. But um, I realized that even though I am very social as far as like social media. Oh, oh wait, there's another blue, blue tree. By the way, huge shout out to uh, Purple Kin, Purple, Purple? What was the name? I'll have to go look at the name. Um, thank you for not putting uh, a border around the entire place and taking these blue spruce trees for yourself. I really do appreciate that. Um, I think Defaultio is going to change the way um, thank you so much for the subscribe. Change the way that, oh gosh, I can barely see that. Um, that resources are not claimed when you, uh, when you put up property stakes, which that's cool. That will help out. That way nobody can uh, go and claim one of the, oh man. Ah. Uh, one of the problems about having a really tall avatar. Everything is so far down on the ground. Um, it's really good because you can't go and like claim an ebony tree just by putting a stake around it, you know, and then not chopping it down, and then it's it doesn't force to regenerate stuff like that. Um, my original purpose. Oh gosh, me and Fezic had come up here to uh, gather some um, appetite. Uh, the blue stone, or is that another one? There we go. And uh, we just ran short on time and, and couldn't get it recorded and out to you guys. So I do apologize about that. Anyhow, <clears throat> I figured I'd come in here, do a little bit of chopping on this Friday, keep a, a nice calm tone, and just enjoy the day before the weekend, you know? Um, there is karaoke tonight, and yes, I will try and be there, absolutely. If you guys want to, you can uh, go to my Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash code prime 8, link in the description down below, or in the about page. I can never remember if it's in the about page or whatnot. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go say thank you to, oh, <laughs> my boat just started taking off. Oh, I forgot, I was going to play stuff in the background. Which, I love the piano. This this guy is an amazing pianist. Oh, what's his name? Hold on. Um, load list. Akash Gandhi. A-A-K-A-S-H. <clears throat> then last name is Gandhi. G-A-N-D-H-I. I highly recommend checking him out on YouTube. And going and subscribing to his channel. For all your... 
beautiful. There it is. Purple Skies 37. Purple Skies 37. Thank you so much for not claiming the entire island. I really appreciate it. Shout out to that guy. Or, or girl. Person. Shout out to them. Uh, I'm really sad that I'm not able to get that last little piece. That sucks. But it's okay. Now, let's see if I can go find what I was originally looking for, which is... Oh, come, oh, 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 come on, come on. Sit in the boat, please. Can, can you just... <laughs> I started drowning. Um, original intent was for appetite. So we will go find appetite. And hopefully, there'll be a lot of it. The last island that I found that had appetite on it, it was just all over the place. Now I think, is this it? That looks like blue rocks right there. So this could possibly be it. Ah, it is, it is. Now, appetite takes a little while to cut, but I will do something for you guys. I will leave a uh, chess up here. By the way, I'm in the cell north, north. So if you're in center, if you're in the center of the map, go north twice and it will be up here for you. And I think somebody has built up here. Anyhow, I'm going to fill up my backpack and then anything that's left, I'm actually going to throw it into a chest uh, and I will build that chest right here. In fact, I will do it right now, the way I don't forget. And then you guys can come and collect it up if you want. Um, and if you happen to be up here in the area, throw some stuff into the chest for people. Don't be mean, don't troll. And the moment that I said that, that's probably when people are on their way up here to troll right now. <laughs> Hopefully, you're a good person and you won't troll. But it's, uh, <clears throat> it will probably happen. And it's okay if it does. Um, I don't want to make it out of the blue because the blue I wanted to take back with me. Let's make it out of this and one of these. So, just look for the chest that looks way out of place. Uh oh, did I just take one of those? I didn't want to take one. Here, put that back. Add to the blueprint. Nope, nope, nope. Add to blueprint. There we go. There we go. Just have that sitting out there in the middle. Take these down. I can switch over to these. Let's see. And we can start choppy chopping. Oh, let me go. Let me go up here. I wanted to see who this was real quick, because none of these are claimed, and there's not one huge property around. So I wanted to go say thank you for not taking over the entire island. We'll see whose property this is. Give them a shout out. <clears throat> I've actually had a, a really good week. Um, I've been so as you know, my channel. Um, I started, and I did, and I still do, bots. So I, I program bots. And I actually have started to, my path to becoming an RPA, Robotic Process Analyst. So uh, I've been working with a program called UiPath. I don't know if I can tell you that or not, but I really don't care because it's an amazing community free project that you can go and grab but my business is actually going further and we have uh, gone into the enterprise license and stuff. So we're, we're going to be doing a lot of business oriented things uh, and I've been training on it. So for the past week, I have been relearning Visual Basic, which has been what it's created in. And I'm really excited. I, uh, I've already created a couple of bots that go through and lighten the jobs of some of the employees that work for us. But I'm making bots. I mean, the thing that I did for fun is slowly turning into the job that I'm now doing. And it's no easy task. It is 
by any means. Zibar, Zibardi. Zibard. Zibardi? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Zabardi? Dude, amazing house that you got right here. Um, let's go choppy chop. I'm glad there's no fall damage. It looks like this is the... Scheist? That's, that's the stuff that he's using up there. I <laughs> like his little, uh... Little twirly thing right there. That's cool. Anyhow. So, I'm, I'm now making bots. For a living. For my job. <laughs> Who would have thought the the bot building of Ottowitz past would now be the thing that I do? That's pretty cool. All right, and like I said, this part is the boring part. It's just chop, 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 chop. Break all these things down into little, little pieces so they can be turned into uh, slabs, and that's about it. So it's just mainly going to be me sitting here talking to you. So I hope that's okay. Um, growing up, I loved making programs. Um, most of the programs that I made as a teenager were stuff like uh, I started out with Fahrenheit to Celsius calculator. That was like one of my first programs I ever wrote. Um, once I started getting more into Visual Basic, which was my original language that I learned, I, uh, I was able to create these things called progs. And I guess a, a prog would have been an early 90s version of an app. There's an app for that. So a prog was short for program, and I would make these things for AOL that would go in and they would spam chat rooms or they would send messages that were malformatted to kick people offline because everybody had dial-up at the time. Stuff like that. <laughs> so... Um, I had a little little bit of evil streak in me, uh, which is why I find it funny when people try and troll me nowadays. I'm like, dude, I grew up as one of the trollers. Like, I paved the path for you to be able to troll them nowadays. Back in my day, back when Windows 95 ruled. And I'm, I'm really not old. I just have a lot of experience with a lot of different operating systems. I remember my first version of Linux was uh, was Red Hat. And, oh god, I messed up my computer so bad trying to figure out how to dual install and before I knew what BIOS and, and master boot records were. Just trying to figure stuff out. I remember one time, I, this was on my old Acer Aspire computer. Yes, it was old. Uh, I had done something to the drivers of my keyboard. And during the course of the day, my keyboard stopped working. And this was before I figured out the, the old adage, turn it off and back on again. So it, it wasn't a USB um, cord. It was an old PS2 cord, which is the, the round cord, the green round cord. Because you had your purple round cord, which was the mouse, and then you had your green round cord, which was the, the keyboard. And um, I had lost use... No, it was the mouse. I would lost use of the mouse. So I couldn't move around the screen with the mouse. And we didn't have a laptop. We didn't have a second computer. We didn't have anything. So painstakingly for like the entire day, I figured out how to move around the screen using keyboard shortcuts and commands. So that's why I got really good at using keyboard and not using a mouse. I'll even do it to this day where I'm, I'm hitting the Windows key and the Windows key R and using command line instead of using a mouse because of the fact that I didn't know what to do because my mouse is broke. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I tell a lot of young people, um, and not necessarily young, people who aren't really aware that they're using the mouse so much, try to work your way around a computer without using a mouse or a cursor. And this is something I tell other people that I program with. Um, people that I make applications and stuff like that. I tell people, can your program run without a mouse? 
could you manipulate your entire program from start to finish? Could you use the program without a mouse? If you can't, you need to rethink about the way that you're designing it. <clears throat> Not necessarily that you need a mouse the entire time, but think about somebody that's on a tablet. They can't use a keyboard. So when you use stuff like press E, well, you can't really press E on a key uh, on a tablet without pulling up a virtual keyboard and sending the command. So always make sure that there's at least a button or that you can use it by keyboard command. If you can't do those two things, rethink the program. How much do I have so far? Oh my gosh, we are filling up really quickly, aren't we? Do I have anything in the other backpack? Oh, I do. Oh, I forgot to empty out the, the backpack. Okay, I tell you what. I will fill up my backpack with whatever I've got up here. And then I'll chop at least like five more blocks and then place it all into... Oh, there we go. I will fill up my entire inventory with the blue, put it into the chest, and then I'll go and get my fill of, of appetite. So that way whatever's up there is, is double what I would have normally harvested. So... Also, I'm glad that there's no damage rating on your uh, your axe, your pickaxe, and, and your tools, because this thing would have been down to the nub like a year ago. So much chopping. By the way, I am the only person that's in here at the moment in in this particular cell. I think there's four people total playing, and. Uh, I know a lot of you, a lot of you, in fact, the majority of you have complained that it's a thousand Robux, but it's a thousand Robux one time. And I highly, like, if there was ever a game that I would recommend, it is Projute, because of the building capabilities. Let alone the adventure and the updates and the stuff that's coming along, there's going to be more. But yeah. Suck it up, stop complaining that it's a thousand Robux, and just buy it you know and don't don't take that like the wrong way I I do recommend the game and I do highly play the game I like the game um, but I also know that a lot of people can't afford a thousand robux and that's more than a ten dollar gift card because I've I've looked um, back whenever it was 800 something robux it might have passed Still too big. Wow. I didn't think that was too big. <sighs> Basically what I'm doing is I'm splitting these down. I'm having them every single time. So. Divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, divided by two. Divided by two. What was I saying? Something about Robux. Oh. I don't know. Um, a lot of people have asked if the game's going to become free. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what Defaultio wants to do. Um, I would imagine after the game becomes older, yeah, he will probably make it free. But you got to think, he's got to make a living at this. I mean, that's what he does. He's a, he's a game developer. He's an engineer. And this is his income. Um, the badges over on Lumber Tycoon 2. I highly recommend that you go and buy those. Support Defaultio. Support the creator. Uh, just like you guys support me as a creator of YouTube videos and everything else. And I come and I talk to you guys every single day. Like, that's your support. You watching me pays me. And I don't want, I don't want that to be a way of, like, saying you have to come watch me. There have been so many controversial things with streamers. Like, there's there's one stream lady, she's like, you come here and you freeload by watching the stream and you don't expect to pay. I would never say something like that to my fans. If I'm making content and I'm putting a video out there, by all means, go and watch it. Do not feel like you have to pay for anything. And if you've got an ad blocker on, more power to you. I, I really don't feel like you should have to pay for the content I create. Now, with that being said, I do get paid by the advertising that goes on on YouTube. So if everybody used an ad blocker, 
I would still get paid because the ad gets sent. Um. <laughs> hmm. I hope I don't get uh, in trouble for saying I don't care if you use an ad blocker or not. <laughs> uh, in fact, I use an ad blocker myself, especially at work where I'm doing business related things. That's, uh, yeah, I, d I don't need all the extra traffic going across the network. Well, code, if you're doing business related things, why would there be advertisements? You would be amazed at how many, um, was it Stack Overflow advertisements pop up? How many advertisements pop up on, on businesses' websites? You know, and it's a little extra revenue. I understand. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Pick these up. Oh my gosh, we've been recording for 20 minutes already. <sighs> it's amazing the content that you can come up with just whenever you talk to people. And when you open up and tell people honest truths about things. And I hope that I've always been honest and I've always been truthful with everything that I've done. I don't think I've ever hid anything from you guys. Um, no, there's been stuff I just straight up haven't told you, but I mean, past that, I'm pretty open book. Private life, I mean, you guys know that I'm married. You know that I've got kids. Uh, I haven't told you, like, where I work, but I've told you about my job. That I'm a computer or an application development analyst. I make programs for a living. Which is kind of cool because of the whole bot thing that's that's been coming up. <clears throat> Anyhow. I like having the ability to remote into anyone's computer. Which is which is kind of cool. Uh, for everyone that I've worked with, or everyone that I work with, um, having the ability to remote into a machine and control the screen and the mouse and everything else right in front of the person, that is a great feeling. I love being able to help people and let them, letting them see what I'm doing. And a lot of people don't care. They, they're just like, I just, I need my word to open up. I need, I need my outlook to work correctly. <clears throat> Can I get to this website, please? Why is it blocked? Oh my gosh. And to those, I have to say, um, well, you're going to have to contact the network team. I can't open up the firewall for you, but I can tell you why you're getting blocked. That's uh, as far as I can go with that one. Sorry, network team. <laughs> um, but yeah, working in IT, usually there's this this pay grade level in between different departments and different people. So it's kind of like a rank system inside the military. Um, a private wouldn't walk into the general's office and, you know, just start messing with stuff on his desk. It just it doesn't happen unless he has a specific reason or something like that. And to work in IT, that kind of blasts past all the uh, all the red tape. I could walk into the the CEO's office. And this isn't like a display of power. It's just a very good feeling. I could walk into the CEO's office and say, hey, I need to jump on your machine for just a second. And he would hop up and say, yeah, sure, go ahead. Here's my password. He knows who I am. Not a lot of companies can do that. The the CFO, the, the CIO, Chief Information Officer, all of those guys, like... They have very big titles and very big pay grades, much bigger than mine. And there's no qualms to like the importance of what I do for them. Every single one of them understands it. And I really do appreciate that about the place that I work at. Because a lot of places, they don't put enough emphasis on IT. They don't put enough... Um, importance as to what it is we do and if you find yourself in a job where you work in IT and they don't appreciate you quit I'm telling you right now quit and go find a job that's going to appreciate you 
I highly recommend it. And if you work at a job and you don't appreciate what you take for granted every single day, your email, the fact that you can get on the internet, the fact that your computer doesn't have viruses, the fact that you have a computer to work with, these are the things that make us transparent. We, the IT ninjas of the internet, who disappear into the background to make your life seamless and work. The Wi-Fi that you take for granted when you walk into a place and they have free Wi-Fi. And to make sure that that Wi-Fi is not connected directly to the computers that actually do the business part. And to make sure that you have a VLAN that goes out the door to a different portion of the internet so you're not touching the same business systems. These are the things that we do. These are what make us ninjas. And the best analogy that I've ever heard was duck feet or swan's feet. So as you can watch a pond and you see the ducks and the swans and they're gracefully swaying across the water, just making the beautiful patterns and doing their thing. They look beautiful. That is an amazing thing. But what are the feet doing underneath the water? The feet are doing this right here. They're just going crazy like that. But you can't tell because it's invisible. So that is the IT world. <laughs> IT, we are duck feet. So, and with that being said, I think I'm going to jump off of here, do a little bit more uh, gathering. I think I'm about full. I have no clue how many I've picked up. Oh, uh, it looks like I got a little bit more here. I'll fill up this backpack and I'll fill up this backpack and then I'll take all of that and I'll put it into the, the chest for you guys. Actually, let's do that because I, I don't want to be here all night. Nobody wants to be here all night. I mean, some people want to be here all night. I wish I could play this 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but I do have a job to go to. <laughs> I gotta go be duck feet. <clears throat> so let's do this. This should be four more, which I have one in my bag, which is five. So I'll take all these. I'll drop them off on the chest before we get out of here, which is like three minutes left. I never used to watch the time, you know? I used to just record and record and record and record. But now that I'm getting a little bit older, you know, I've got bedtimes. I've realized I'm tired. A lot of the times I'm just tired. So let's go do this. <sighs> I will drop all these off inside here. And are you guys going to be able to get into this? Because I don't have it on property reclaimed. I don't know if you're going to be able to get to it or not. Hmm. Maybe. Almost filled it up, didn't I? I can I can go fill those last two little parts. That's fine. Yeah, let's go let's go let's go fill that last little bit. How many how many we need for a full? Oh, come on. Open back up. So six, seven, eight, we need eight more. Can you break down into eights? I think so. Anyhow. How many of you were already on your way up here to, to come and receive this stuff? What would be really amazing is if instead of coming up here and taking some, what if you came up here, built your own chest, and filled it with some appetite, and then grabbed the appetite that was left over? And we continue to do that until there's just this massive community of chests up here, full of appetite. And I don't want one person to come up here and just do all the work. Don't do that. I would love to see a community of these chests up here just full. And if you need some, come grab some. I don't I don't know if that's going to work or not. It's a it's a nice thought. It's a good idea. You know, when you have some time, come up here, do some harvesting, throw them in there. If, uh, if you don't have time for it, you don't have to sit here and harvest the entire time. You can just come up, grab some, take it. It's a very community style thing, isn't it? Work for no pay and no benefit, but the surplus would uh, go to the community. Ooh, that sounds like communism, doesn't it? Not communist, promise. I'm an I'm American Democrat. 
not not Democrat. Is it Democrat? <clears throat> no, democracy. Democracy. Not non-democrat or republican. Those are those are parties or independents or green party or whatever those are. Dem democracy. Democracy and democrat are very similar words. I got those confused. I should probably take a sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, we've gone over the time. <laughs> Code, you said it was only going to be 20 minutes. I know. I know I did. That's okay. I'm still having fun. And I'm probably going to still have fun for about an hour after this, too. Gives me time to upload a video and get it scheduled for tomorrow. Does it look like my shirt is drooping in the front? Hey, Restream, can I get another um, Restream IO shirt? You c could you guys, can somebody send them a message? Tell them code needs a, a 2XL, please. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll send them a message. It's cool. Could somebody else uh, contact Starbucks for me? Tell them I would love sponsorship. I like their coffee. I don't think they'd do that. Um, who is it? LT2 Nutter. Did you ever contact the, the coffee company? About the the coffee beans, can can I get their their number? Could you send that to me? Maybe. I would love to have my own style of coffee. Call it Code Primate Beans, Code or Code Primate Java. No, don't 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 call it Code Primate Java. I've got Java tutorials, and that would probably confuse people when they did a YouTube search. Um. <laughs> anyhow, if you do come up with your own coffee, um, just make sure it has like triple the caffeine that a normal java bean would have and that would be my coffee the extra i would love that all right here we go let's fill this up there we go so there you are one chess uh out here in the middle of the island like i said it's straight north north that looks slightly Slightly to the west. Anyhow, you should see it up here. It's a ice island. You'll have um, Zanzibar. <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> up there at the top. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, ProJute with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we will see you very soon. Outro.